Hi, hi. So today we're going to go over 4.1 for Math 60. I will be approaching these lectures page by page. So I'll do a page and stop the video and start a new one. So you can pick just the videos you want to watch. You won't have to watch through all of them if you don't want to. Um, this one is a page that we've already done in class. But again, I wanted to make sure I had the complete section. So I figured I'd just start at the beginning. Uh, 4.1 is all about inequalities. And I'm hoping that 4.1 is for the most part going to be review. So what I'm going to do is with a number of different inequalities, I'm going to write out how to pronounce the inequality, show you how to graph it, show you what the interval notation, and show you what the set builder notation is. And that way you will have all the different ways of writing an inequality. Uh, as you go further and further through math, you're going to be expected to know all of them and to be able to, if I ask you for interval or a graph, you'll be able to give me any of the various ways of expressing it. So the first inequality is pronounced. X is less than three. Now in my class, you only have to find the number that you're interested in. In this case, it's three and zero on the graph. You can write the numbers below or above. And then on the three, at the three, you have to decide which way we're going. If x is less than three, then we're going to be to the left. And right now in the book, it's going to be recommending that you use parentheses. But some of you who have already studied this know that you can also write it as an open circle at three. So you can use either one. The interval notation, that's going to be the notation that, that tells you where the numbers start and stop. Now, since this goes all the way to the left, there isn't really a stopping point to the left. So we say negative infinity. That's not really a number. This is actually more conceptual. It just means keep going to the left as far as you possibly can and then keep going. I have an open parenthesis on this because this isn't a number, so it cannot be included and then a comma, and then the end point. In this case, it's also a parenthesis. It means you can go up to three, but it can't equal three. Now, set builder notation is the one thing here that I think is most likely to be new for most people. Everybody has a different style. You start with a brace, and then there's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm going to try to keep it fairly simple. I'm going to say x because x is our variable. Then I'm going to put a line in. It's a pretty long line. The line says is pronounced such that, which is another way of saying so that. And then I'm going to write in the inequality x is less than 3. Now, I could finish it, and it could be done. Or, and here's where everybody can have their own style. Some people will also include this. I don't know if you remember this. That's the real numbers. And this little guy, can you see that right there? It looks kind of like a round, funny E. That is, is an element of. So this says x is less than 3, and x is an element of the set of real numbers. So that was the first one. Woohoo. I would ask you if there are any questions, but I couldn't hear you if you answered. So I'm going to go ahead and go on. Answering questions is much easier when no one's listening. Okay, new inequality. I don't know if you can see the, the uh, camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing right now, but this guy is actually x is less than or equal to 3. The graph is going to be very similar. I'm going to find 0 and 3. They can really be anywhere as long as 3 is to the right of 0. I don't care about your, your um, uh, spacing. If you put one number on, though, you got to be very careful. So the way the book is going to encourage you to do it is with a bracket, a closed bracket. And the idea here, I always think over here, if I have a 3, 
and I have a bracket, it means that the three is very happy. It just sits there and it, it can, with its little feet, it stands there. If I have parenthesis, the three falls right out, just slides out. Whee! So parenthesis, it slides out. Bracket, it stays there. It's got somewhere to stand on. So this is including three. And of course, there is another way to write this. You may have already studied. And you're allowed to do this on a written test. But for WebAssign, they're going to want you to go with the bracket. But the other way to write this is with a closed circle. Oh, my line is going all bonkers today. The interval is going to look very similar to the first one. I'm going to start off with negative infinity. I'm going to go all the way to three, but then I'm going to use a bracket. So this is called closed. And it's a bracket. And up here, I didn't write it down, but this one's an open. Parenthesis. There we go. Spelling is not my forte. For set builder notation, again, x such that and i'm just going to write in the inequality and maybe get a little fancy say x is a real number woohoo woohoo next up oh it's getting exciting i know you guys are i can tell i can feel the excitement mounting uh this is x is greater than three So in this case, I might go ahead and find zero and find three, but I'm going to be greater than three, which means I'm going to be on the right-hand side. And I'm going to use the parenthesis. Notice that for this one, oh my gosh, my parenthesis got a little big there. Uh, notice that, can I fit them both in? Almost. Uh, this parenthesis faces to the right, and this parenthesis, oh, you can't see there. This parenthesis faces to the left. That's very important. Parentheses and brackets always face the part you're going to shade in. Okay, interval notation. This one's a little bit exciting. We're starting at three. Then we're going to go all the way to positive infinity because positive infinity is on the right-hand side. Basically, it means the biggest number you can think of and then just keep going in the positive direction. Again, it, we use a parenthesis for it because it's not a number. And for set builder notation... And again, I'll be fancy and say it's in the set of real numbers. And that's it. There we go. First page done. Woohoo. Only 438,000 pages to go. Woohoo.